Hello, I'm Dr. Wickham Simons. I'm an obesity medicine specialist from the Triangle region of North Carolina, and this is Obesity Medicine Perspective. I want to thank you for watching uh, any previous videos that you watched. And one uh, common question that I get from uh, patients and potential patients is about alcohol. And I've talked about this one other time. So as part of your diet, is it okay to have alcohol? And if so, what kind and how much? And this is uh, a very uh, common question. So I want to address it again. Uh, when you're trying to lose weight, I would say that if you can avoid it altogether, you will lose weight faster. But I think you can still lose weight while having some alcohol. You just have to be uh, strategic about how you do it. So uh, you don't want to mix it with carbohydrate laden things. And a common mistake would be to say have uh, a vodka and tonic. Well, the tonic water is loaded with sugar. And so uh, what you're really doing is having essentially vodka with some maple syrup that's not, that does not have any maple flavoring. And that's not a way to lose weight, right? So the, uh, what I tell patients is if they're going to do it, let's do a weight be before, the day before you have it, and then uh, a weight the day after. Write down what you eat, figure out what you're eating, and then if you have a drink or a second drink in the evening, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, I always say. What is the weight the next morning on the scale? And you want to figure out what your body's response uh, to it is. Now, I tell patients things, uh, when it comes to beers, to stay away from regular beers. I really kind of only recommend two, and that would be, um, you know, like a Miller Lite or a Michelob Ultra, which clearly state how many grams of carbs and how many calories are in it. And I would not do more than one to two of those uh, in an evening if you did it. Uh, when it comes to wine, I have no problem with reds or whites. The carbohydrate and, and calorie count is very, very similar in both. Uh, but um, I would make sure that your glass, and I would measure it out to see, is four ounces, and I would not do more than two glasses in an evening. Now, if you did that, and then the next morning on the scale, your weight did not budge despite being very good on your diet, then that tells you the alcohol is keeping you from losing weight. Now, when it comes to uh, stronger spirits, uh, the non-flavored varieties is the way to go. So if you're talking about rum or gin or uh, vodka or uh, uh, bourbon or uh, whiskey, uh, these things um, can be consumed straight over the rocks in small amounts. Uh, that would be ideal. You tend not to drink them very fast uh, because they uh, don't have any kind of sweet taste to them or anything. And um, that kind of really cuts down on the number of calories that you're drinking because you're not adding anything to it. If you do add something to it, it needs to be a diet product or like club soda, something that does not have any sugar and does not have any calories. So a diet soda, for example. And I really wouldn't have more than three ounces of uh, any kind of uh, harder spirit per day while you're trying to diet. And again, if it causes, if it slows your weight loss or causes you to gain weight, then I think I would try to refrain from it. So that would be uh, my advice on alcohol intake. And until the next time, I'll give you the tools, you give me the effort, and together we'll overcome obesity.